Hey guys, Ray here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add text to your video projects. Now we have a project open here, and we've got this nice background as our layer inside of the video editor. We're going to make sure that we have that layer selected, and we're going to go to our Filters tab and hit the plus button. Inside of here, we're going to choose between either plain text or the 3D text. In this case, we're going to start off with the 3D text by clicking on that. And you'll see it places a 3D text right in the center of your screen. Now in the control area, you can actually change the font if you'd like. You can decide whether you want it to be bold or plain and whether you want it to be beveled or unbeveled. You can also choose the color of your font by simply selecting a color here and hitting OK. The sliders will allow you to resize the text, also allow you to decide how much depth you want on the 3D effect. You can set the amount of tilt, and you can move the 3D text both horizontally or vertically. Once you have all of that set, you're ready to go. You can also save this as a preset by simply hitting the plus button here, giving it a name, and hitting OK. To add plain text, we're going to remove that filter, hit the plus button, this time choose the regular text tool. You'll see that immediately it puts a time code in the center of your screen. To get rid of the time code, simply highlight the time code hashtags and put in the text that you want to use. You'll notice that as you type, it's going to resize the text to fit the box on your screen. In this case, our box fills the entire image. We can then grab the handles and resize this, and use the circle in the center to drag and move the text around. If you want to change the font, you can highlight your text, and you can simply hit the font button here, choose the font you want to use, and hit OK. You can then choose whether you want to be bold, light, or normal for this particular text. You can also change the font color by simply choosing the color here and hitting OK. You can also add an outline to your text by choosing the thickness here, and then choosing the color that you want to add around the text. If you want to make it smaller, you can simply bring that number down. And if you bring it to zero, your outline will go away. You can also choose a background color and padding. For the background color, if you wanted to choose a nice blue, you could do this. And you could bring up or down the opacity on that blue, and then simply hit OK. To change the padding, all you have to do is bring the number up here, and you'll see that it'll add padding around the text. Set that to zero to remove the padding, and set the opacity to zero, and hit OK to remove the background. You can also position the text based on numbers by typing in the boxes here, and resize based on numbers as well. You can also choose whether you want to justify your text to the left, the center, or the right. In this case, we're right inside the box here, so we're not even going to see a change. You can also adjust the vertical fit by hitting the top, middle, or bottom button. Once you've made all of those changes, your text is now ready and your video can be exported. I'm gone.